Welcome to Four for Four. The concept of these talks is simple. We ask four questions in four minutes. So today we have West Virginia University President, Dr. Gordon Gee, and our four minute clock starts now. So welcome, Dr. Gee. Oh, I'm glad to be here. Thank you, Jennifer. Of course. So you have held um, more university presidencies than any other American, according to Wikipedia. <laughs> so looking back on your life journey, what or who stands out for helping put you on this path? Well, I think that uh, there's so many people I could talk about, but obviously uh, loving parents, uh, great friends, uh, um, a family that has continued to be very supportive of me, but but I uh, but I think also the fact that I uh, I believe that being a university president is more akin to a calling than uh, than a job. It really is about um, working with with people that you know you're going to be able to make a difference, and particularly with land grant institutions, that's been immensely important to me. Great. So, in the wake of COVID nineteen and the national shutdown. How are you seeing universities adapt and change the future of higher education? Well, I, you know, I tell everyone that uh, some people say we're going to go back to normal. Never, I don't believe. Some people say we're going to go to new normal. I don't believe that either. I think that it's a new world. And uh, I welcome that because I, I believe that, uh, as with everything, uh, that the world is very fast forward and we need to change. We need to change uh, uh, immediately, we need to be very disruptive. We need to think about um, what the world is going to look like 20 years from now, and then we need to organize higher education accordingly. And that is going to require a much different kind of, uh, of format and, and even a much different kind of institution than we've had over the last uh, 50 years. Well, I'm sure that's why you've been successful as a university president. You're so open to change and embracing it. So tell me, how do you think the relevance of 4-H and cooperative extension changes in this moment of COVID-19? Yeah, you know, I and, and I know that we're on a 4-H uh, podcast here, but the truth of the matter is I think it's very important. I think that... I think that when you think about what Abraham Lincoln wanted 150 years ago, that was to develop community-based uh, education to really have uh, institutions that really made a difference in the daily lives of people. What is a land-grant institution about? What is extension about? And what is 4-H about? I think that in this 21st century, we'll have to think differently, as you are, about what 4-H is going to look like. But its importance, I think, is absolutely incredibly um, significant right now because of the fact that it goes to the family, to character, to the quality of life, and to um, the fundamental nature of our democracy. What insights do you have for us about Gen Z and how they want to change the world? Well, uh, this, uh, you know, the gap, if, if, you think, if you think about the gap between um, between the millennials, which who have just graduated, and the Gen Z, it is huge. It's a chasm, uh, and and they they look at the world much differently. They forty or to fifty percent of them don't want to work for anyone. They want to be entrepreneurial. They want to start their own businesses. They're very community centered. Uh, they're very job oriented, uh, uh, and so all of those things I think dictate that. Um, this new uh, group of individuals, in many ways, are really uh, are really acclimated to what is going to be the new world after uh, the coronavirus. Because I think that in many ways, the coronavirus amplifies the kind of strengths of uh, of these young uh, young students that we see. And and of course, I love them dearly. I I, I like to adopt every one of them, but uh, uh, impossible. But nonetheless, I miss them while I'm while they're not here on campus with me. Well, I, I think you're right, Gordon. I miss our kids in 4-H too, and I, I feel like they are so better equipped to deal with this than many of us. So, so Gordon, this was really fun. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And in the coming months, we have some other amazing folks lined up to talk to us too. So please stay tuned for the next 4 for 4. Thank you very much. Honored to be here.